excited to introduce a new series that I'm starting on this podcast talking about windows. The next five to ten days, all the things I'll be talking about will be focusing on a particular window of your life. So it's going to be very interesting. It's a very heavy material. So uh, I hope that you can get the opportunity to listen. Praise God. Praise God. I am very excited about this new series that we are going to learn together. And the truth is you might still be wondering exactly where we are going. So let me pray, read the verse, and then... I will give you more background so that you can prepare and adjust yourself. Oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our strength, our defender, our glory and the lifter of our head. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and give to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because... We do not carry anything to God in prayer. Oh, Father, we love you and we thank you. I pray for everybody under the sound of my voice that we will begin to learn together these few days to bring us to a place of a healthy self-image, a healthy life approach, and a healthy grip on life. We thank you for this opportunity. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right, so what's up with this all-window talk um, so let me re-emphasize and break it down again. What I'm dealing with is three major topics. What makes it a window series is that under every major topic, the subtopics are windows. So for example, the first ser- the first topic is a healthy version of yourself. And under that, there are four windows. The window, which is called the open window. The window, which is called the hidden window. The window, which is called the blind window. And the window, which is called the unknown window. When we finish that series, we, uh, when we finish that major topic, we move into another topic, which I call life And under life, we have window one, window two, window three, and window four. We will tackle that. When we are done with that, then we do the last one, which is called uh, what I I believe the topic for that one will be um, manage. And that one, we tackle window one, window two, window three, window four. All right. So that is our job that is cut out for us for the next few days. So today we are going to begin with the major topic, which is the windows into your life. Uh, So help us God. Amen. All right. Now, for you to have a, a very good grip about yourself, It begins with a good understanding about what is going on with your life. And by the way, these are material from the Emotional Wellness Program that I ran at the center that I'm pulling this from. But it's very essential that you are able to engage and learn from it. So I'm beginning today with the first window, which is called the open window of your life. And again, for you to have a successful life, you yourself must have a successful self because it is yourself that will be given to Monday will be given to Tuesday so the calendar days is waiting for you to enter and if you are healthy then you will enter into a healthy day so I want you to pay attention and play this over and over again until you get this material alright so let's begin today I'm focusing about the open window of your life What is the open window of your life? The open window of your life is the public image of your life. The open window of your life is all the obvious things that is known about you 
and known by people in your world. The open window of your life is the Facebook version of your life. Things you are comfortable to share called the PR, the public relation, the public image of your life is called the open window of your life. What is interesting about the open window of your life is that the open window of your life is designed by you. You decide to show and post images you feel it represents you well in your public image. Let's take it a step further. The public image of yourself is not just the image of yourself, but it is the self that you feel comfortable sharing in the open space of your life. The open image of yourself is the version of yourself that you have designed to survive the world that you are in. The open image of your life is the level of exposure that you give to the family and the friends and the people you do life with. And therefore, the public image of yourself or the open window of your life is not all that you are. Obviously, if we are talking about three other different windows, then there's more to you than what people see. There's more to you than what people identify. But because I am restricting myself to just this window, I want to, because what happens is when I begin to talk about the other windows, it will make sense, this window that I'm talking about. But let me pull, because check this out. This topic is defining, taking an inventory of the things that are found in each window. When I'm done, I will teach on how to, because if I teach on how to manage your open window without telling you what your blind window and your hidden window and your unknown window is, you cannot. So allow me, have patience with me. Let's explore each window over the days and then after you have a good understanding of what every window is then i believe that the next step is that we are going to now see how do i manage each of the window so that i can I become a healthy person so uh, let me continue to deal with the open window so the open window has to do with the version of yourself that people can handle number one a version of yourself people can handle in other words you try to tone down you try to behave in some kind of way that people can handle you. You understand that? Another way of looking at the open window is a version of yourself that people will not judge you. You understand that? A version of yourself that you will not be judged. You understand? Yeah, I think you see where this is going now. A version of yourself that people can handle and people will not judge. A version of yourself that you are aware that this version of myself is how I will survive. Now, in the open area of your life, it's how you approach life. And what is fascinating about the open area of your life is this. You may not be the way people perceive you but you have decided to be that to survive (laughs) are you here so the kind of person that people perceive you to be the kind of person that you come across as for example if you see a person that appear very strong and kind of uh bold that is the open window of your life what is fascinating is that that might not be the real you but you have noticed that if you don't act like that you have been taken advantage of too many times so in the open window of your life you play the game with such a set of behaviors and set of beliefs and set of um, approach 
that makes you survive because in the open area, that is where all the cameras are. That's where all the, the, the obvious uh, life is happening. So in the open area is the marketplace, is the open arena where everybody sees you, where you are interacted, where trade happens, where negotiation happens, where love happens, where exchange happens. So in that place, you try to put your best foot forward. And not only that, life has taught you that if you don't act in the same kind of way, you can survive. So in the open area, not only is it a version of yourself you want people to see, it's also a version of yourself that you have made it that way because of the weather and the temperature and the people, the haters, the loved ones and all of that which is happening in the open arena. Now, the people that interact with you in the open arena decide how you approach yourself. If you have a lot of people that love you in the open arena, you don't want to disappoint them so you don't tell them a lot of your mistakes. If people are looking at you to make fun of you, you want to disappoint them by showing a version of yourself which is better than your reality. In the open arena, if you are, if you are, if you are looking for love, you put your best foot forward. You don't show your vulnerability. You don't show your scars. You don't show things that will make you reduce your value. So in the open arena, we are looking at an edited version of yourself that gives you maximum respect, that gives you maximum advantage. So you have tailored a version of yourself. And it's so beautiful because social media image is a perfect example of the open window of yourself. I, I look handsome on tape more than in reality <laughs> because I know how to design the open window of myself. Every video and photo you see me in is that the way I look because I know how to polish the open window of myself. So the, in summary, the open window of yourself is the self you want the world to see. Is the self that if you don't be that self, people will take advantage over you. Is the self that you filter. Is the self that you remove other things from it, so that you can have a sense of who you are. Now, the reason this is one is the only quarter of who you are is because the real you is not the open window of your life and tomorrow we will talk about the hidden window of your life that is where we are getting into who you really are I feel like uh, make some take home statements I told you we will. I will teach you how to manage all of that but before I go I will say this you make a relationship, you find new friends, you interact with the world in the open window of your life. Before we leave, what I'll tell you is that in the open window of your life, the goal is to form healthy relationship so that you can have a place where you can bring the different versions of you into the open window. The open window is where life happens. The open window is where you live. The open window is your address. But because you don't want to act, because you don't want to pretend to be what you are not, just to be accepted in the open window, because you don't want to hide the true you so that the church you go to accepts you. You don't want to hide a version of yourself what I will give you before we close today is that if anything in this open window of your life, we, when we come back here, we are coming here to form healthy relationships that can accept a version of the real you gradually. Do you understand what I mean? So we, the goal is to turn 
your open window into the real you. But if you don't do that carefully, you will harm yourself, hurt yourself, and wound yourself. Because if you expose the real you to your open window, you might be judged, rejected, and also ostracized. So the goal is to find a healthy place in the open window where you can gradually be yourself and people accept you for who you are. And that comes intentionally. If you open yourself about everything about you in the open space, you will quickly realize that people are not merciful. So people are what they are because they know that in the open arena, I got to be tactical and strategic so that I don't get burned. But how long would you live a life where you can be fully yourself around the people that love you? How long will you live a life and not be 100% that you have to always edit yourself, always have to be careful of what you say, always have to hide your deepest desires simply because you know that I will be judged when I become myself. And so what I'm doing is after we visit all these four windows, I'll show you what to do in the open window. I hope you are seeing where things are going. Tomorrow we will talk about the hidden window of your life. But in summary, the open window of, of your life is the public image, the self that you know and others know about you, that you are willing to share the edited version of you, a persona, a character, a person that you have polished yourself to be because you won't because of the game plan that is in front of you a, a, a funny example is when we came to America some Ghanaians had created a public version of yourself that you have to dig deep before you know they can speak to you because they had rearranged their public self that if we're Ghanaian, you can see the face that this guy is Ghana. But every sound that comes from him or her, it doesn't sound good because they have been able to have a public version that suits the culture, that they are not discriminated because they sound American. So you give them the access. That is called the public version of yourself because you have tailored yourself in such a way that you can fit into the system. Are you following? So all the tailoring that you have done to yourself so that you can fit your culture, you can fit your subculture. It's called an open version of yourself. And you do that intentionally because that is the only way you can survive in the open arena because life is brutal. People are unmerciful. If you show all your vulnerabilities, they will rip you apart. So you decide to have a public version of yourself that is acceptable that your loved ones will not be disappointed. All right, Father, we pray today that as we take this journey, help us to really come to the top with all that you have created us to be. In Jesus' name, amen.